compliment of the season to our beautiful viewers out there. I'm so glad to have you join us on Art House. I'm Melinda Akinlami. On today's edition, we'll be looking at two remarkable events that took place in 2018. That's the art auction by Art House Contemporary and a miniature art fair organized by Iwalewa and Ugiriko Art Gallery. Both events gave artists a platform to showcase their works on a larger scale. We have that and more after our Arti Quote. Join us again. West African and Nigerian art have very vibrant and bright colors which reflect the strength and luminosity of light. Storytellers are a threat. They threaten all champions of control. They frighten usurpers of the right to freedom of the human spirit. It's the usual scenario with Art House Contemporary as they intend to attract more buyers into the secondary market by organizing this art auction, which always begins with an art night out. It's Art House Contemporary's 10th anniversary and the art auction night was packed with new faces in the art collection scene. They have come to take time to bond with the works of art before it goes under the auctioneer's hammer. By that time, they will know exactly what they are gunning for. And Art House Contemporary is celebrating its 10th year as an auction house and uh, every year we do three auctions uh, a year and we're showing the best of uh, modern contemporary art in Nigeria. Well we have over a hundred lots in the auction so there's many artists in the exhibition. We have artists that are working from the modern period uh, from the 1930s to the 1970s. We also have artists that are contemporary and that are work making art today. The selection process is a crucial stage for the auction house as they get works from near and far and only go for the best with focus on originality and style. Well, every year we have an open call for our auctions. We get uh, submissions from collectors, from artists, from, from all over the world and uh, we select best on the best quality artwork that, uh, that we get. <laughs> The design of the work is Tender Whispers. It's a piece I did in 2003, that's 15 years ago. In fact, I'm surprised to see it here because it's not presently, you know, in my own collection. I sold it a long time ago. I don't remember how I sold it to, but I came to the auction and I saw it here and I'm very, I'm very happy to see it. colors and cities are just a few of the emotions driving the artist to create and they explain more about each piece that has made it here. I work predominantly with acrylic even though uh, I also dabble in photography, a bit of installation art, mixed media, but I'm more comfortable with acrylic. And uh, generally speaking, uh, my works are a commentary on uh, the variety of things going on in society. I, I generally tend to draw inspiration from issues of the time, whether I'm talking about you know, discrimination or inequality, uh, uh, people's inability to meet, you know, realize their dream, you know, their dreams, in spite of working so hard and everything. So yeah, those are the sort of issues that uh, uh, inspire me, you know, socio-economic issues, political, sometimes uh, religious to some extent, yeah. but it's generally speaking the human condition. It's more about um, exploration. It's more about trying to 
work out my thought pattern. I like patterns. If you look at my work, my previous work, and things I've done before, it's always I, there's always a representation of patterns and things like that. I like textiles, I like texture, I like patterns. So it always comes out in my work. So basically, all this is is just a pattern network. Entry uh, is what I call the upper crust, uh, which is about uh, people in the upper crust of the society. Uh, I'm talking about uh, the socialite. Uh, there have been so much focus on Lagos as a creative hub, you know, more or less like November, it's like the creative month. Everybody's in town. And uh, fashion uh, has actually, uh, we have a convergence, fashion convergence with uh, uh, arts, uh, music. You know, it's so interesting uh, in these times that we are in, you know, with uh, everyone uh, visiting Lagos. And my work actually is it to document uh, the moment, the era. You know, uh, you can see uh, the women are kind of uh, uh, in their Sunday best, like the fashionista. So basically, this piece is trying to document uh, this era that we are in, you know, the era of uh, fashion, the era of red carpet you know this uh it's purposely dyed canvas you know that after dyeing the canvas and now painted on it you know uh, which using the wax method so it's a deliberate kind of work uh not that i actually pick up a duray and i start painting on it it's thick it's canvas uh, lately i've been influenced by materiality in art you know i've been using a lot of material The need to document history or make social commentary are issues they are paying attention to as well. This isn't particularly one of those pieces I'll say that has a strong, that goes out to have a strong, you know, socioeconomic message or a political message. But like I said, I was trying to capture the, that quality of tenderness. You know, sometimes I, I pick a theme or an issue or a quality and I try to give it life, to give it a form, and that's what I did with this. I'm just trying to create something that's pleasing to the eye, that somebody can live with and draw different things out of whenever they look at them. There's so much in there and you can make of it whatever you wish to make. So it's really art that accompanies the, the person who lives with it. Um, uniqueness of my work is, wow, where do I start? I don't know where I start and I don't know where I finish. And it's, um, it's ongoing. I could carry on and carry on and carry on. And um, I think that's why <laughs> it's, it's an unfinished work. So there'll be more and more, there's more and more to it. All these messages, uh, really, the message is also to document this era, this era of glamour, and most importantly, is for uh, the socialites to be uh, good role models, you know. And basically I was trying to capture that a certain quality, that kind of ethereal quality, you know, tenderness. Like if, if we were to give tenderness a face, what would it look like? Sometimes I get inspired by issues and sometimes I get inspired by values, you know, and it's just a, 
the essence of tenderness I was trying to capture, you know. So the delicacy, the, the subtlety, the, the gentleness, these are all the things I tried to, to capture in the piece. And, you know, that's how I uh, wound up with it. Uh, there are a lot of things that inspire me. Uh, my everyday society, uh, my uh, immediate environment, uh, because artists are very observant uh, kind of people. So most times you need to be observant, you know, and most times all these observations are what uh, determine the kind of works that you do. Well, we're showing that contemporary art and modern art in Nigeria is uh, not only uh, a great cultural asset, but it's also a viable uh, commodity. It's, it's a great way to uh, invest in art, uh, invest in anything. And uh, you can see that a lot of artworks here um, are really stand the test of time, and, and it's really an asset to, to invest in. The essence of the art auctions is to wake up the secondary market, and it needs just that in the new year.